Well, baby, where are we today? The Lincolnshire Life Museum. Lincolnshire Life Museum, opened in 1981, folks, and it's actually free to get in. So you don't need any money. There is a little tea room here, Sharon. Yeah, there? and you can park outside And you can as park well. directly outside. We'll show you the outside a little bit later on, but um, we're going to take our little tour now, and let's get take you walls. along with us. It's a bit cold today, Sharon, isn't it? Oh, it is. Right, so you've got a whole lap which you can do. And let's have a little look at what this is all about. Oh, wow. Wow. Hello. Oh, look at that doll's house. Well, hello, look at that lot, look. That's oldie worldy show, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that cot. Yeah. All old genuine stuff, this, folks. And it's actually done up, as you can see, as an old sort of house, isn't it? Mm. Look. Loads of different um, things to look at here. Old dominoes and things, old spinning tops. Remember them, Sharon? Yeah. Look and learn. Look at that little colouring books you used to get when you was a kid. I suppose it covers quite a few areas here, doesn't it? Mm. And this would have been a period bedroom, folks. Look at this, look. Can you have a water bottle, look? Yeah, that's right. This was a lower middle class bedroom during the late Victorian and early Edwardian period. I'd have been that. happy with that. Yeah. Lower middle class, Sharon. Look at the hat boxes up there. And all yeah, that. you don't get that anymore. Look, ah, hat boxes, look up there. Look. Cases like that. You've got a top hat over there. You could have a Homburg there, I suppose, something like that. All made of leather as well. All, yeah. all, all I quality. like seeing one of them nightcap. What's that? <laughs> nice little nightcap for you. Little think, nightcap. I think I need the bed socks now. Yeah. Anyway, let's make our way through. Ah, oh, what are we in now, Sharon? Look. Kitchen. This is an old kitchen here. This, um, it's a working set and is used in the Museum of the Victorian World War II Education Sessions for visiting school groups during event day. So it is an actual working kitchen, believe it or not, folks. Look at that, look. There's the old uh, old fashioned stove there. Look, Shay, you get the little irons there. Well, look. There's your bath in the kitchen and all, look. Yeah, you get your little irons there mm. that heat up on that hot plate there, look, and then you well, iron you your would clothes. Know, no you? electricity, eh? Hey? You would know. What do you mean I would know, so baby? Again, little food processing things over there. You've got a mincer, couple of mincers over there. You've got a food slicer over there. There's the old Belfast sink or butler's sink in the corner there. And um, you've also got the old tin bath there as oh, well. Oh, saucepans, look. look. Big cast iron saucepans over there. Look at that. Superb. And shout, you'd never reach that, would you? Well, no, because you'd undo it there, wouldn't you? Eh? You'd undo it there. No, that's for the clothes it. rack. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm about. I'm, talk lower I'm it. talking about the shelf shell. You'd oh, never no. put stuff on the shelf, <laughs> would you? So you'd lower your cord down there, folks. Look, that'll bring down your whole um, clothes rack sort of thing for you to um, put your clothes on, then pull it back up and heat rises off of this. Yeah, look, quick mincer. What's look that? Look at that. Minces, mint, sage and parsley for your herbs. Wow. There we go, look at all this old stuff. I used now. to like them, the old... Oh, do you remember them at school? Yeah, the little milk bottles. When oh. I was at school, you used to have them little tiny milk bottles there, folks. don't know if you can see them. It's only about the size of your hand sort That's of thing. That's right, isn't it? Victorian Tesco's Direct. Where they... Grocers used to bring you shopping around. So yeah. it's not a new thing, is it? Like yeah. having home deliveries. Yeah. What's this here? Look, sugar snippers. Till the late 19th century, sugar was traditionally sold in conical loaves. Customers would buy a whole loaf or large chunks which were sold by weight. Sugar snippers were used to cut the sugar into smaller lumps. Look at that, look. Victorian times, there you eh? There go. I'm, I remember my having these jelly yeah, moulds. The old jelly moulds there. Yeah. Look at that, look. Anyway, what are we coming through here now? This is like a parlour. Look. Oh, it is a parlour. Look, I said that, look. Mm. This was obviously the best room in the house. And it, is it me or does that table seem really low? No, I don't know, Sharon. It does seem a bit low, I suppose, mm. but uh, parlours were normally furnished with the best furniture in the house. And then the word, French word for parlour, parleur, or parlour, uh, means to speak, Sharon. So you'd obviously have conversations in the, in the parlour. That was the idea of it, wouldn't Play it? Play some music tonight, dear, look. Yeah, the old uh, gramophone over there, look. Well, that was a cylindrical disc, mm. actually. It yeah, wasn't a, it turned. Uh, you can see the handle there for turning. Yeah, it? the old grandfather clock there. Look at that, look. Oh, look at these stuffed animals. Yeah, that was a big thing back then, mm. taxidermy. And uh, everyone used to sit around the piano, Sharon, and sing and play songs in the parlour, no doubt. Yeah? 
Yeah, so you basically go right the way around this building, folks. And there's so much in here. Again, there's little things like these cabinets here. We won't show you exactly everything, but uh, you'll get the idea. And now coming through to the wash house or the washroom or whatever. This is, uh, again, Victorian. You see a lot of these shall turned into plant pots or planters. Yeah. Wow, look at that bling mangle there in the, the washer with the, 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 um, the drum there, which you hold the cloth on or the clothes and rotate the drum and it agitates the, um, the clothes to get all the dirt out of them. And then you run them through the mangle there, look at that. Then you've got that old fashioned drum machine there, look. Amazing, isn't it? I remember a mangle in, in, we had in Brixton, very similar to that. My mum never used it, it was, it was obviously left there from the previous occupants, but um, that was back in the 60s, early 60s. So uh, I do remember that vaguely as a kid. And coming through again, oh hello. What's this then, the saddlery? Oh, oh look, size saddle, that one for. Yeah, the size of them saddles over this there. One. Let's try and lighten it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's a saddlery there where everyone used to maintain their own saddles and stuff and repair them. Oh, little ponies here. Ah. I've just had a pony as well, haven't I? <laughs> so coming through to here, shall this would be the uh, blacksmith's workshop. I would imagine pretty similar to today, shall they use exactly the same sort well, of stuff? No, if you remember, they're mobile now, aren't they? When I was riding Woody, he yeah, was there with his transit van and he had little furnaces yeah, but in they the back base it around having a little furnace there, which might be, yeah. this would obviously be fired by coal, I would imagine, but uh, they, you can get gas furnaces yeah, now, amazing. obviously. But uh, all the hand tools would be probably much the same as well, so. Uh, all the different sizes there, look. Yeah, there you go. And then coming through now, we're coming through into military life. What are we looking at here, folks? Museum of the 10th Foot, the Royal Lincolnshire oh, Regiment. i what, Sharon. Oh, it's a bit scary. I wouldn't like to walk around here at night time. No. 1692, during the Nine Year War against France. There we go. Wow, amazing. And again, you've got all this sort of memorabilia in here, Sharon, aren't you? Yeah. For uh, historical stuff. Coming through to this section, folks, this is more like the war. Wow, really well designed. It's a bit dark for you to see, people, but uh, it's designed like a, an air raid shelter. And this is depicting the uh, First World War in this part. Nothing showing you all the uh, uniforms and stuff and loads of memorabilia in here, look. Charles Sharp. Amazing. Lo again, loads of stuff for you to read there on the, uh, the different areas in like Lincolnshire, like the Grimsby Chums there, whatever. And tanks were actually invented. There's a little tank there, shall mm. They were actually invented in Lincoln, which not a lot of people know. There's a big one on the roundabout. On the there? roundabout yeah. on the uh, Tritton Road, there yeah. is a, a tank there depicting that. Yeah, that's right. So again, coming through here, showing you all the different costumes and wear uniforms of the era. Cool, look at all them medals. Yeah, whole selection of uh, medals up there, which were uh, one. Their names as well, aren't they? Yeah, different sergeants, captains, brigadiers and stuff. All have won them and they've been probably donated to the oh. um, the Museum of Life, Sharon. Lincolnshire Life. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at, look at what we got here, Sharon. Wow. Vehicles of the era, people. Look at this, look. All the way from these little first bikes, bicycles. Oh. They called that the hobby horse, that one. Look, that was one where you didn't have any pedals on it, I don't think. God, look, imagine how bumpy that would have been. Like, it's no yeah, rubbers, bone shakers. Yeah. And all you do is you, you push along with your feet on that one. And then you go obviously to the next one, which is the penny farthing. Well, where which would you sit? You had to jump up there and pedal. And then I don't know what happens when you stop, yeah? It's got no seat. Yeah, it might, it might have had a seat. I'm not too sure, Shell. Oh, look at that old pram. Wow, look at that. Do look. you know what? It looks comfortable there. Yeah, there we go. And that would have been one of the first Butlins uh, oh. pedal cars there, look. Probably in the right colours and all. And not the bikes you could hire at Butlins as well. Yeah, and coming up to, uh, they were probably Silver Cross that, would it be? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And they were still going pretty much when, well, when we had Gary. We had a, you had a Silver Cross for Gary, didn't you? Yeah. That would have been mid-80s, wouldn't it? 
Then we've got a Cycle Master bicycle, which contains a 25cc two-stroke engine. Look, Martin Butler. MBM, yeah. yeah. And that would go 25 miles an hour. And in 1932, you could get this Hudson, and it was used from 1932 till 1966, believe it or not. And then again, good old British names, the old aerial motorcycle there, look at that, look. That was um, used from 1928 up to the 1930s during the early part of the Second World War. And then you've got the Lincoln Elk motorcycle. Look at that thing, look. That's amazing. This was probably around the 1902 to 1924 era. Again, very old piece of kit. And look at that, it used to carry a spare tin of uh, fuel on the side of your car, Sharon, back then. Morris Oxford's Doctor's Coupe. What this is? Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? And there's all about its first owner there, 1925, and he passed it on to his daughter, and she used it until 1966. Wow. And then it came here. Wow, amazing. Well, in 1972 it came here. 1972, amazing, isn't it? You don't see these sort of things anymore, That's folks. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? I mean, look how well it looks. Yeah. And on the front of the uh, radiator, you've got an actual gauge there, which I don't know whether you can see, which tells the temperature and, and of the engine. So you're looking through your windscreen there, you can see it right in front of you. Oh, the, this man restored it and he's got this plaque here. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And then you've got the old um, oh. funeral pyre there. Huh? Wow, look at the size of that thing, look. Things were definitely grand back in them days, weren't they? A hearse, 1885, look at that, people, look. It's amazing. So there's a few of the carts there. What's that one, Sharon? Horse and carriage one. But you look know, it that. looks so comfortable inside. You don't think, this is about 100 years ago. What was the year of 1890. this one? 1890. 1890, I mean, it's 130 years ago. These sort of things, you're on the roads of Britain, Sharon. Lovely, isn't it? 130 years ago. And we don't realise how far we've come with technology over the last 100 years, people. It's an unprecedented change mm. in technology, which is really rocketed now. You know, when you think of looking at things like this. Anyway, let's move on. Here we go, shall we? More uh, mechanical now. It's, oh, uh, there's the tank. <laughs> yeah, if we go right over here, people. You've got many uh, sort of steam engines here for industrial purposes. Superb, steam, little steamroller there. And here's what we were talking about. There's an actual image of this on the roundabout, Sharon, mm. at the top of Tritton Road. So let's see what they say about this thing here. Look at that. Amazing thing. Wow, you can actually look inside, but I don't think we'll be gonna, gonna be able to see in there, no. I don't know if you can see in there, people, can you? There's a little ladder in there. But uh, this one was actually, um, named Daphne Sharon. It was built in Wensbury, West Midlands, from plans drawn in Lincoln. How about that? For many years, she was believed to be flirt to until her original serial number was discovered in 2013. Daphne was damaged by a German artillery on the 21st of August, 1917. Blimey. At the Wipes salient and taken away for repair. And at the end of the war, Daphne was presented to the city of Gloucester where she stood in Gloucester Park until the 1940. There she is in Gloucester Park, look. There she is in Gloucester Park there, look folks, look. That's oh, this Daphne. tank here. And she was loaned to the Museum of Lincolnshire Life in 1989, where she remains today. Look at that. How about that? That's amazing. I mean, look, they've got a German field gun here, Sharon. Where did they get these from? It's thing? amazing, isn't it? That's from the, obviously the First World War, look, 1914. First World War is from 1914 to 1918. And uh, what have we got in here? This is like a little barracks, isn't it? A little, um... Oh, well, it's telling you about... Oh, so you can tank. actually come in here and look at the, um, the, the tank. I think that's not the one, though, is it? No, it can't be. Yeah. Anyway, there's a little show there that you can sit down and watch people. Hey, I shall, this is interesting. This is the Roby winding engine. This engine was used to bring up barrels of water at Woodall Spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The water contained two main chemicals, iodine and bromide. It is believed that the water cured ailments ranging from rheumatism to gout. 
This engine was built in 1887, installed at Woodall Spa in 1888, and had two small pumps fitting in 1953. The barrel, which could hold around 396 litres of water, finally ceased operation in 1960. Look at that. That used to work. Oh, there's a picture in the, of it in the, in the, the pump plate. house. Look. Yeah, in the pump house in Woodall Spa. And next that would to be the Kinemar, the, that, that is... would buy where the Kinemar is, wouldn't it? Yeah, just next to the Kinemar, folks, which has been refurbished now, because the Walters apparently had healing properties, and Victorians used to come all over the, from all over the country to bathe in this water. Would have been pumped up by this machine. Amazing, isn't it? It is. There we go, folks. This is a Rush, Rushton Proctor ZLH locomotive, which is only one of two left in the world. Look at that, and one of them's here. Used to work in am ammunition factories, I think. Look at the size of that flywheel, look. How about that for a piece of kit, look. Amazing, isn't it? Only 11 to 13 horsepower. <laughs> that's amazing it was donated to the museum in 1971 look at that that's amazing isn't it you don't think that would be such a low horsepower piece of kit shower do you no well that tractor is a bit of a bone shaker Sharon it's uh, mm. made in 1936 comes from uh, Chicago USA it was imported into Britain by A. Church and Son of Horncastle Lincolnshire and it was used on the farm in Boston Road Horncastle by Mr. Scott Look at that bone shaker, look. And he donated it here in 1983. Was he using it up till then? Don't know. Look, right. at, them, look at them wheels, folks, look. Amazing, isn't it? Come all the way over, probably on a, on a boat, Sharon, from yeah. um, America back then, in them days. Which would have probably cost quite a few bob, I would imagine, to do that. This is more your sort of agricultural farming equipment, folks. Again, we won't show you all of this. Just, you need to come and support You need the place. to come and visit. And as I say, don't forget, it is free, but we will leave a donation at the end as well. You know, it's up to you whether you want to do that, but we're going to do that because it's so interesting here. Yeah. Here, look at this, folks. Look, this scarecrow was the first prize winner of the best scarecrow category at the original Lincolnshire Scarecrow Exhibition in Foldingworth and Freezethorpe. It was presented to the Museum of Lincolnshire of Life by Mary Todd, the exhibition organiser. Let's have a look at that thing, look. Wow, that's a bit spooky looking show, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Couldn't I see that in the dark? No. Look at it, it's quite tall as well, isn't it? Stand next to it, Cher. That frightened you off, wouldn't it? It's too right, it would. Not about the bird, Cher. It frightened this big old bird off, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, so we're not going to show you everything here, folks, but I hope you can see that it's a really fascinating place uh, to visit. And uh, let's say we're going to go now and have a little look around the top end of Lincoln, which we've. Um, not done for quite a long time, Shannon. We've no. never filmed it, have we? No. So we're making our way towards the outside now. As I say, we've not uh, seen everything. And uh, we'll take you to the top of Lincoln Hill because there's one hill there, Shell, called Cardiac Hill, isn't there? I thought it was Steep Hill. They call it Cardiac oh, Hill, Shell, because it's hard work to walk up, baby. Oh, I know, the, I know the hill they're on about. And also, there's a pie shop up there, which apparently is haunted. Brown's Pie Shop. And that's called shop, Brown's yeah. Pie Shop. We're not going to go in there because we're not eating pies at the moment. Oh, shame. We'll have a look at it. <laughs> See you in a minute, folks. So there we go, folks. That is the uh, Museum of Lincolnshire Life there. And if you want to know where it is, it's on the Burton Road in Lincoln. I'll try and leave a postcode for it, Sharon. But absolutely free to get in. This is where you can park right out the front here. And the more spaces around the back. And there's says. also, yeah, around the side there. You can park around the side there. Free parking, people. We've just left a donation show, haven't yeah. we? And they're quite happy with that, weren't they? Yeah. Very good in there. There's a lot you didn't see and it's worth going. Yeah. Kids will love it. Find we it didn't, We didn't show you hardly... Well, we didn't show you nothing of the upstairs part. There's a great old Victorian school classroom up there as well, Well, the it? shops were good. They'd done the commercial side of it. Like yeah. there's a chemist and an old co-op even. Yeah, there's loads of stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, do, do check it out. And uh, I think you'll be really fascinated. You can walk around there for an hour and a half easy. So it's definitely worth taking your kids there, or even yourself, if you're at a loose end in Lincoln and you fancy a bit of um, yeah. bit of Lincoln life history. Very good there. Right, let's make our way to the top of Lincoln Hill now, and let's have a look at that old cardiac hill, Sharon. Get in that car with that eater on. See if we can find that term haunted pie shop. Okay, so we found a little car park right at the top of um, Lincoln Hill, and we're right in between. Let's show you. Just spin the camera around. We're right in between the castle, which is on that side there, and just coming round the other side, the cathedral is just over there. So I think we'll take a walk over by the cathedral first, yeah, shall yes, we? Yes, it's £16 each to get into the castle. 
Is it really? Yeah. Wow, so we won't be going in there then, unfortunately. So this is old Lincoln. Oh, it's the bells. And I'm not sure, Sharon, whether or not you have to pay to go into the cathedral. Well, we'll have a look, see if it's like yeah. York. You did in York, as I say, but uh, this is oldie weldy Lincoln, folks. Let's turn the camera around, you can see what we mean. Yeah, now you're hitting the old cobble street, Sharon, the old rickety buildings, well, look at that. this is where they used to have the Christmas market till it got stopped. Yeah, that's right, this is where the Christmas market was up here. But can you see how lovely and grand this is? Look at that, look. And these oldie weldy pubs up here, Sharon. Mm. Nice to see a period phone box over there as well, Sharon. Yeah, it might be a library. I wonder, wonder if there's a preservation order on this sort of area, that Sharon. That building there, they're raspy. Well, you can't there. put modern stuff up here, you know. But off of the main drag here, you can see that you've got all these little hilly shops down there with little Victorian shops that it looks like, doesn't it? And you've got a signpost there telling you exactly where you are and where you can go. So, looking around in all directions there, as you can see. So you can actually reach the Museum of Lincolnshire Life here by going down there, folks, apparently. It's not too far away from where we was originally, but um, yeah. That old church behind you, Sharon, look at that, look. All I can say is, hey? I've just seen Brown's Pie Shop. Where is it? Behind you. Yeah, is it really? Look at the sign by the two trees. Come on, let's have a look. We've got to go and have a look. Here we go, folks. Sharon's just spotted it straight away. It's supposed to be haunted. So we've got Castle Hill here. A nice pie there. And this is Steep Hill. This is the Steep Hill, Sharon, we're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. This is what uh, they call Cardiac yeah, Hill. Yeah, Steep Hill. Let's have a look. She's found Brown's Pie Shop. Just have a look down here, people. Look. All these old shops. Look at that. Look at the old beams on that thing there, look, running across there. Oh, here we go, Sharon, this is it. Oh, it's shut, thank God. This is Brown's Pie Shop, folks, look at that, look. It's supposed to be haunted. And one thing we like as well is Hazlitt. There's someone in there, Sharon. Is there someone in there? No, I don't know, Sharon, I thought I saw someone in there then, <laughs> but obviously I didn't, so that's it, folks. If you are interested, do they do homemade pies and all it's that? It's all pies, it's a pie shop, isn't it? Yeah. Homemade pies, it's what it's called. Here, yeah, look, look. Lamb pie, £18.50. Fully enclosed pie with tender lamb chunks cooked in a rich red carrot and mint sauce. It's pretty dear, but uh, you can guarantee that'll be very, very good, Sharon. And I can't get you through the window there, can we, Sharon? Let's have a little look. Can't really see, it's very dark in there. Yeah. There we go, that's the inside of uh, Brown's Pie Shop there, people. Wow. Little tea and coffee shop, obviously. Well, that was lucky. She had to find that straight away, wasn't it? Well, it's lucky that it's shut because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're off that sort of food, aren't we? Wow. So you've got Rollers Fudge Pantry over there and this little quaint tea shop there, Sharon, which would be very yeah, nice, looks I would nice imagine. That, doesn't it? Let's have a look down here, shall This is, to say, Cardiac Hill, folks. But winter time, Sharon, and mm. when they used to have the Christmas market here, this used to be rammed, Sharon, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's really, really busy, but obviously not today. But again, little ho old shops. Look at this, look. That's, that's pretty new, that one, I would imagine. That's you've naked got marshmallows, yeah. Cocktail gift shop there as well. well. That's gone. Timepiece repairs. God, you don't get that anymore, do you? Look. You've got a vegetarian cafe there, anyone interested in that sort of stuff. And you do have to watch where you're walking here, people. If you're a bit uneasy on your feet. Look how short these little shops are, shall I? Look, these. Go to stand next to that window, shall I? Look. I mean, look how tiny they are, people. Look. That's a little chocolate, chocolatier. Belgian chocolates. I wonder if Swiss Tony used to go here. Lovely, isn't it? Look at that, look. What's that show? Fur, feather, tweed and wax. Look at that, look. <laughs> oh, look who's in the window. Hey. Oh, hello. It's a hat, isn't oh, it? Oh, that's a hat there. Yeah. That's um, Kate, isn't it? Kate Middleton's yeah. hat and scarf there, people. Look at that, look. So just walking down here, again, Cardiac Hill. known as Steep Hill, and it goes down oh and down God, and down. That. We're going down it, shall we? We've got to come back up it. 
I don't think we'll go right the way down, but... Um, Steep hill and city centre. Yeah, here we go. It goes further down, 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 folks. Look. And we're actually on the highest part in Lincoln here, aren't we? Yeah. So, should we take a walk back up? Yeah. And, uh, oh, there's them things on that wall there, shall look. Poor postman. You remember what we said about uh, when the walls start to fall outwards? Yeah. They put these um, plates on the walls with a big nut on the end of it, and they go right the way through to the other side, wherever it goes, and they stop the wall from falling out. Here, look, Wordsworth Street. Yeah. Lovely, but it is a steep hill, people. Don't go rushing up it. Okay, so coming through this um, archway now from that square, you're presented with the magnificent Cathedral Sharon. Mm. Right in front of us. Look at the size of that thing, folks. Let's have a closer look at this. door there, look. I think you do have to pay to come in, don't you? Yeah, eleven pounds for the tour. Eleven pounds for the tour, but as I say, you're allowed in the um, the little entrance area here, where you can get a good view of, well, a lot of it anyway. But um, this looks like the old uh, font, Sharon, does mm. it? Let's have a little look at that. Look, how many people have been christened there, Sharon, yeah. over the years? But an amazing building, all the same. Windows are amazing. Hey. The windows are amazing. Yeah, you can't picture. The, uh, get the depth of colour of these stained glass windows up there, folks, and also all these concrete pillars here. Absolutely amazing. And that vaulted ceiling up there. Look at that. Superb. And again, on the uh, entrance here, Sharon, you've got um, plaques built into the floor there, Charles Reynolds. Chancellor of this church died on October the 5th, 1766, aged 64 years old. There we go. And there's plenty of these about here, people. Look. Amazing. All written in oldie, worldie English. So, yeah, if you want to have the full tour, Sharon, it's about £11, you say, yeah. there, didn't you? They're and doing roof tours at the moment as well. They're doing what? Roof tours. Wow, I didn't know you could go up there. Bit cold, isn't it? Let's just have a look up there though, Sharon. Look at that vault there, look. That vaulted ceiling, look at that, look. Amazing. Anyway. Well, at least we got into this one, Sharon. We didn't get yeah. into the one at York, did we? The York, York Minster. There's a hint, do something like this. Yeah, and also like the uh, the Lincolnshire Museum of Life, Sharon. Very, That's, very um, good. Donations, you don't mind giving a donation, do you? Very well impressed with this though. Fantastic building. Nice to go inside it. First time I've actually been inside this one, Sharon. I've been in here years Marvelous. ago. 
there we go folks just coming out into this little sort of vestibule area there i Who don't know quite know houses? what that would have been sharon well, that'd be the entrance because there's a castle there wouldn't it yeah the castle's further yeah, back isn't it it's just through there it's yeah. just straight on that's the wall yeah. to the castle and these uh houses here little built along the side there that one's there built into the brick wall there look over there look mm. amazing isn't it bet there's tunnels under here hey I said, I bet there's I bet tunnels, there's tunnels Sharon, under here. But we'll I mean, never know. How much would these cost? Yeah, these are going to be dear houses, people. Can you imagine how much it costs to live here? Look, in actual yeah. fact, there's a plaque on that wall over there, yeah, Sharon. Yeah, it's an artist. It's to an artist. Oh, I is it? it? Yeah. Amazing. So that's the uh, Lincoln Cathedral, folks. Well, partly, part look at it anyway. And as I say, I've been up here for 23 years. And uh, that's the first time I've been in it, Sharon. There uh, you go. What about you? I've been in it before. Yeah, you went in it with Bernie, didn't you? Nothing with the kids. Was it with the kids? Yeah. Especially when, when you was working. That's when I used to work seven days a week down yeah. at uh, Sky TV many years ago, folks. Anyway. Hey, there's a car coming. Oh, they can't get through there. Like, there. there. I just heard the car. That's amazing. Yeah, coming back through to the uh, main square now. This is right, as I say, right at the top. We can't go in the castle, which is over there, because that that's a, a paid uh, entry as well, Sharon, I think. Well, isn't people it? must think we're tight. Well, no, it's not that we're tight, Sharon, but... Um, it's something we have been in before. I've been there. They used they do concerts there, don't yeah. they? Yeah. I see. I think was it UB40 we, we see, see there. UB40 there. Yeah. They do concerts inside the actual castle walls in the grounds there. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Where are we going now? Lincoln Ghost Walk. Let's have a look up here, hey? Lincoln Ghost Walk. Oh yeah. Look, they do a ghost walk there oh, as yeah, well, Martin. folks. Look. Lincoln at the top here. I would imagine would be quite haunted, Sharon. Where's she gone? She's talking to myself. You've been shot. What is it? Church. It's a little church, is it? Hello. Oh. They have an old church. Little chapel. Look at this, folks. Oh, yeah. Little chapel here, look. I wonder if it's a working chapel, Sharon. I think so. Hey? It is, there's service things there. It is look. a working chapel. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Again, sort of thing you walk straight past, isn't it? You find just it's like... It's like that one in London we found, didn't it? When we could go underground yeah. and all that. But again, pretty much like York, you come out of one like a, a massive cathedral and then you're in the little church, mm. sort of uh, within a 50 yard radius of it sort of thing. Wow. The old parapet there. Where you preach the father or vicar will preach amazing isn't it just look at that altar there people look choir boys would sit around there and uh, that's where the, the main action happens up there and there's the uh, pipes there for the pipe organ look at that look which I would imagine you would access from um, through that little walkway there around the side there get up there and the organ's probably up there don't know whether it's still active but um and then you've got another little parapet here on a concrete plinth or stone plinth rather where you would uh oh, that's where the organist is up there isn't it give a speech to the, hey. the your flock i said that's where the organist is yeah up that's there. what i just said mm. yeah there we go i say walking around these places is just sharon just pushed on the door and we didn't even realize what it was did you i didn't even know there was a church didn't either, even know either. it was a church so amazing walking around these sort of oldie worldy places and it's pretty much like um, York, isn't it? Mm. You find? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on, folks. There she is, standing over there, right next to that little church we've just been in there. Right, Sharon. Let's take a little walk up here and just see what this um, yeah, look. this is all about. Look at these little shops, folks. Look, Lin Linden Books. And they're still open, look. Little bookshops. You don't see them anymore, do you? What have we got here? Cafe Zoot. Again. Sunday Summer lunch, fourteen ninety five. Summer time. Yeah. <laughs> That's the White House, uh, White Hart Hotel there, which is obviously a public house as well. What was this? A dispensing oh, chemist. chemist. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, the old-fashioned sign up there. Look at that, people. Look. I hope you're enjoying this little walk around on the, the top of Lincoln Hill. As I say, it's something we haven't done for a long, long time. That's what you don't see very often now. Show a little old-fashioned post office there. Look. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Right you on the must corner. have mentioned post office at the moment. Eh? Not the Nulsey post office, Horizon. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. Yeah. 
The Lincoln Pantry, what are they selling here? A lot of organic stuff. Is it organic stuff, is it? Yeah. Uh, hemp protein powder. Yeah, look, extra virgin olive oil. £1.85 £1. for that little bottle there, Sharon. Well, it's organic. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, this was rammed, wasn't it, Sharon, on the Christmas market time. Yeah. Which they've had for years and years, but no longer have any more. Hello, That's where are you nice, going, baby? Isn't it? Nice jumper. £29. Yeah, look, jumper's there for £8. Oh. Yeah, probably £10 having £10 or less. Again, it's a sour shower, it's a January yeah. sour, which we don't see anymore, do we? No. We mentioned that the other day, didn't we? We yep. don't see January sours anymore. Again, Italian. Here, mine's Tiny what? Tears. Hey? Yeah. What is it? Tiny Tears, Vintage Dark. Tiny Tears? Oh, it's a charity shop. Oh, is it? Yeah, look at You got your own, haven't you? No, Tippy Tumble's over. Oh, Tippy Tumble, you had, that was it. Italian ice cream or gelato, I think they call that, shall look. When they have ice cream from uh, Italy, isn't it? Yeah, you get an oldie weldy feel up here, Sharon, don't you? Yeah, that's nice. That wouldn't suit me. That would suit me. <laughs> Parking would obviously be very difficult up here, so as I say, we found a, a car park. Uh, two hours cost £3.50, Sharon, didn't it? The one yep. we was in. But um, I think all these would be zones, these car parks up here. Loads of pubs, Sharon. You've got the Lion mm. and the Snake there. And Prince literally, of Wales. Right next to it, you've got the Prince of Wales there. And oh, what's this? You've got a fish and chip shop here. Elite. Oh, it's on the, Elite. It's eh? the other Elite shop. Oh, that'd be good. The one we there. like is the oh. Elite in, in Lincoln, but it's further down just off the Tritton Road. Yeah, isn't I it? know they had two, and I've never known yeah. where the other one was. Yeah, well, we know now, Sharon. We won't be having that for about six to eight months. Enjoy, people. So, we're just approaching Westgate here at the moment. Again, there's another car park there, people, but um, is that a car park? Wait, there's a car coming round. Is that a car park yeah, there? Yeah, along there, there is a car park. There is park. a car park That's along the there. That's the car park I was actually looking for. Yeah. But uh, so much history. And you can spend a good day if you're coming to Lincoln for the day, Sharon. Oh, yeah. Or you can get a training, Sharon. Yeah, and I think then you get your park and ride up to the top of the hill. There's a lot of park and ride? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got to walk up a steep hill to get up here, obviously. Well, it's yeah. more than just steep hill, it's all the hills. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the Lincoln is flat, but when you get to Lincoln, if you want to come and see the history, it's right at the top of the hill. What have we got there, Sharon? Look. The base of a Roman portico discovered. I can't see what that date is, but no. uh, that was down there apparently. There you go. Amazing. Mint Wall Passage. Wonder what? where that went, yeah? What? There's all these little nooks and crannies, isn't there? Look at the size of these big windows, look. Was it a shop at one stage? I don't know. I don't know, I'm looking at the low windows at the front. It's obviously got a, a basement down there as well, look. Yeah, can you imagine how much it costs? to have a place here, Sharon. Fortune. And what's that over there? Is that another chapel over there? Here's a look, look, pub, the old church. barley mow. The old barley mow? Yeah. That old, that old sign there, people, look. I don't think it's a pub now, Sharon. Oh, no, it's like a house, doesn't it? It looks like a house, yeah. They've left the old sign up there, look. And also, what's this here, look? Duke look. William Hotel. Wow, look at that. Amazing. And again, Shell, look, the walls must have been falling out at some stage, mm. or maybe supporting them for the war, maybe, to stop them blowing out, maybe. And just coming along here, you've got the, uh, as Sharon said, the Duke William Hotel. Who was Duke William? Was probably not the kind of man you'd want to meet in a pub. The son of George II, he was affectionately nicknamed Butcher, following his vicious military campaign against Bonnie Prince Charlie ending at the Battle of Culloden. Wow, bit of a nasty piece of work, Sharon. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. And then stuck in the middle there, right in front of you, is the remnants of an old brick wall, Sharon, look. Well, I suppose it was the wall around by the castle, yeah, maybe. It? I don't know whether that wall surrounded um, this area. And there's that other chapel there, folks, that little church over there. That wall sort of chopped off and left the arch there. In fact, that's the way we come in, Sharon, wasn't it? No. No? No. What do I know? Directions ain't my strong point, Sharon, are they? Not at all. <laughs> but we'll have a look at that wall just to see the thickness of it. So you've got the main arch there. And then over this side, you have the little walkway down there. Look at that, look. So obviously your main transport would have come through there. 
Would it have been horse and carriages? Of course it would have been then, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. And pedestrian through that side. And you can see how they actually built these arches. Look, with these long bricks there. Or stone pieces, rather. Looks like York stone, Sharon. Doesn't it? Huh? It looks like York stone. So we're on the, probably the edge of the outskirts of it here now, aren't we? So like we make our top. way back now. Where are you going, baby? You say what's at the top? Oh, you want to go down there? Oh, hello. Oh, someone's house, look. Someone's house, look. So that'll be the thickness of their house there, look. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. How many people have walked down here through the years, Sharon? Yeah. Come through the other side. Just oh, spin I wonder around. what that one said. There must have been something there. Yeah. There? Yeah, look at that, look. Little window cutting up there as well. Look, I don't think that would be original, but um, again, that's your main wall there. Which, yeah, look, the old carpetif. Yeah, which would have carried on down there, perhaps. And then you've got all this new build here, people. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit more investigation. Well, and we'll see you shortly, folks. So I just had to bring you back for this one, folks. That's that wall there which we were talking about. And if you come over here, you can actually see it's called the Newport Cottage Wall. It's a fragment of a wall in the garden of the Newport Cottage which was part of the northern defence of the Colonia, immediately to the east of the gate tower of Newport Arch. Only 1.25 metres, about four foot is visible above the current ground level, but would have originally stood about six metres tall. And if you look at that there, this was actually taken, this picture, back in the 1890s there. Look at that, look. And it was horse and carts coming through there. That house has not changed. Look yeah. at that picture. Yeah. Look at that picture that there, look. That house there back in 1890s, folks. Even down to the porch, so And let's spin you, spin you around. You can see that porch over there on that house over there. Look, it's exactly the same there, look, virtually. Look, the windows have changed at the top. That one's changed, that first one up there. Uh, that's bigger, that one. That one's still the same size. If I just bring you back round, you can see there, look. And then coming um, up here, you can see that a, la a lorry smashed into it that in was in 1964. And the repairs cost £1,595. Sorry about the, the lorry noise behind us, folks. So, yeah, it actually took that um, them stones out there, as you can see, look. I bet top, he got into trouble. I mean, that would have been a lot of money back then. Yeah, that's a lot of money now. So, fascinating, baby. Yeah. Right, so we've just made our way down a uh, steep hill there and coming down a little bit further. We're not at the bottom of it yet, but Sharon just found this, which is the uh, cat calf. And uh, looking through the window there, you can actually it's, it's, have it's, tea it's and coffee with cats in here. Look, you've got to be buzzed in apparently. You've got to ring the bell no. and wait to be buzzed in. Is there any there? It's, one's just gone round the corner there. Oh, look. Hello. <laughs> not, not the window. There we go, cat calf. <laughs> Be nice, show, isn't it? Lovely. Not for me, I'm allergic to cats, aren't yeah. I? Do you remember him, Shell? Oh. That fella? Humpty Dumpty. Yep. Amazing. Again, it's still um, oldie weldy at the bottom of Steep Hill, Shell, isn't it? Mm. I thought it was only at the top. Oh, no, no, it goes all the way down. And so many Yeah, are you been in there? Yeah, that's when I was doing um, oh, repairs to model, like little little cars, little uh, matchbox cars. I used to get all my paints from here, folks. 
And look at that, that's a CB750F. I remember them in the early 80s. That's a Tamiya model. Yeah, I used to get my paints in there from the airbrush. Again, loads of little um, eateries down here. Oh, the old sweet shop, look. Yeah. Look at the old sugar mice in there and everything. Yeah, look, all the old stuff like in that. it. Oldie worldy sweets, yeah. Probably cost a fortune now, didn't they? Mm. Well, it cost like, pennies back then, didn't they? So, uh, so we're nearing the bottom Sis. of um, Steep Hill now, I think. What you found there? Oh, it's one of the refill bottle places where you just go in and refill your bottles. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so we're, as I say, we've got to make our way right to the top afterwards. In actual fact, coming down, it, it, it does to... make your, your thighs quiver, doesn't it? Because you're, you're sort of stepping down all on your toes people when you're walking down. and puffing, walking up. Oh, That's yeah. all I could do. I know. Just turn you around again, people. As you can see, we're still on our way down. And it opens up a bit more here, doesn't yeah. it? as you can see, but we've still got, again, the old buildings here, look. So, uh, a lot more people down the bottom, shall we? Well, that's where the shops are, love. That's the main shops there. That leads straight into Lincoln High Street shopping parade, yeah. shall we, doesn't it? Yeah. Which we won't be going down that far, but um, that's just to let you know. So if you come to main shopping parade in Lincoln and walk through the, there's an arch down there, you'll uh, end up going up the steep hill. Right, we're just on the verge of the main, uh, Shopping drag now, we've come across this, the biggest toasties in the UK. Look at that, never heard of that one before, shall we? No. Must be a new one, isn't it? Homemade toasties, no doubt. Is that a loaf of bread on that? I in think that window? it's supposed to be, yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a TJ Fridays there, or in fact, they just call it Fridays now, don't they? And as you can see, we're just walking towards the main drag now. This is where it starts to get really busy, Sharon. Yeah. And uh, again, Plenty of um, places to eat, glory eat in here, look. Bar and golf. Adults only. Look at that, what's that all about? Oh, look, there's Elvis and Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Look at that, look. Some sort of, um, is it an evening place or an afternoon place or what? Well, it's a bar and golf. You can play golf in there. Freddie Mercury and Elvis Presley in the window, people. There we go. That's new. I haven't seen that before, Sharon. No. So this is where you do your main shopping in Lincoln, isn't it? Yeah. Not historical as such, but there is bits of history down here, like that um, old wall in front of us. Well, you've got the canal down there, haven't you, as yep. well? Yeah, all that's down there, all the canal and everything, that's right. But this is the more commercial part, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there we go. We've just walked all the way up Steep Hill, and you now know why it's called Cardiac Hill, Sharon. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little tour of Lincoln, but folks. It wasn't that little bit of hill you filmed. It went right to the town. Yeah, and uh, it was very, very steep. It gets steeper the further you go up it. So if you're a little bit dodgy on your pins or your ticker, get the walk and ride. You may, you may think twice. But uh, all in all, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed this little visit, and also to the uh, Lincolnshire uh, Museum as well. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of shopping now. We've got a bit more to do in Lincoln. You ain't got to see that. No. And we'll see you in our next video. And don't forget, also hit that subscribe button, folks. A lot of you aren't watching who are subscribed. So just hit that button and also it's ring that little free. notification bell, eh? Because that little notification bell, some people aren't getting notified. So YouTube's up to something. I don't know what it is. But anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye-bye. Come on, baby, back to the car. Yeah.